So guys, when it comes to cutting slightly thicker branches in the garden, I know that some of you have tried a pair of secateurs. In fact, you have opened them up and squashed them in there and you've actually tried to use them as a saw. I've watched you. So guys, rather use the right equipment. Remember, the gardener's best friend is the type of equipment. And we simply seem to be a bit behind on that. We end up breaking the tools that we have because we're using them for the incorrect application. So if you're looking for anything that's slightly larger, thicker than two to three centimeters, I strongly suggest that you grab yourself a saw. Now this saw over here, awesomely lethal. Look, it can adjust into different positions simply by using that little toggle there. All right, so if you're in kind of difficult areas that you need to get into, you can angle it there or you can use it at, there we go, nice straight angle, which really works for when you're getting into those difficult areas because the worst thing you want to do is damage the other part of the tree that you're not removing. You don't want scarring on the stems because that then ends up causing diseases. When you end up with that beautiful, awful, awful scars back on the plant and that's why you want to be able to angle this the right way. This is hard chrome plated steel it's going to last you a long, long time. However, remember, with all good gardening tools, you've got to look after them. So when you're finished with it and there's a lot of sap left on the blade, give it a clean with a lubricant, give it a good wipe and put it away in a safe place. Folks, when cutting slightly thicker branches, anything from five centimeters in diameter plus, please remember to do the undercut first. You do that about 10 to 15 centimeters away from the main trunk of the tree. Do a slight undercut a third of the way through, then to the top, about two to three centimeters away from that and cut through. You'll find that as you're cutting through, the weight of the branch will then fall onto the, under the undercut and that is going to stop your branch from tearing. Cut directly through. That's of course not your finished element. You can then have a shortened piece of wood that you can simply then deal with. And then you do your final cut close to the stem so that you get a nice neat finish. But the undercut guys is what it's all about.